Uh, question number 17. Uh, this is section 2, 50 marks. You are supposed to answer questions. Uh, answer any, only five questions from this section in the spaces provided. Uh, so once you get each question is 10 marks. Uh, so this one, number 17, the higher purchase HP price of a public address system was 276,000. A deposit of 60,000 Kenyan shillings was paid by, uh, followed by 18 equal monthly installment. The cash price of the public address was 10% less than the, the higher purchase price. Uh, part A, calculate Roman number one, the monthly installment. Now, uh, let's start with that. Uh, you can see the higher purchase is 270. So to get the amount that was paid in monthly installment, you just say 276,000, uh, you minus 60,000. And that when you minus that, uh, you should be able to use your calculator you get 216,000 and since the number of installment were, were 18 equal monthly installment then 216,000 you divide by 18 and you'll be able to get the monthly installment was 12,000 using your calculator um, just arranging it like that because of space uh, Roman number two, the cash price. Uh, we are told that the cash price uh, was 10% less than higher purchase. So this is a, this is a higher purchase that is uh, 276,000. Uh, that is, a high, that is a, the higher purchase. So we divide by 100% uh, percent, and since it was 10% less, you multiply by 90 percent so you compute that you should be able to get 248,400 uh, uh, so this is a cash price uh, 10 per, which is 10 percent less than uh, the higher purchase we go to part B of the question a customer decided to buy the system in cash uh, and was around a 5 percent discount on the cash price he took a bank loan to buy the system in cash. The bank charged compound interest on the loan at the rate of 20% per annum. The loan was repaid in two years. Calculate the amount uh, repaid to the bank by the end of the second year. Uh, so th since it is compound interest, uh, what we do is the amount to be paid, the amount to be paid, uh, let's use this uh, amount, is equals to the principal uh, before we, get, we compute the amount since the customer was around 25 percent uh, uh, discount let's get the amount the customer paid so it is 248 uh, 400 uh, you divide by 100 and you multiply by 95 uh, so this will give you uh, because you are calculator you'll be able to get 235,980. Uh, so after being around a 5% discount this is what the customer was to pay and therefore uh, this is what the customer took from the bank and therefore we say amount is equals to so this is the principal 235,980 you, you open the bracket we have one plus the percentage was 20 so you use a formula that we use for compound interest uh, so this is divided by 100 and the time to repay the loan was two years so you can compute that using uh, your calculator uh, so you multiply 235,980 this will be 1.2 raised to power 2 or uh, 1.2 squared and you can be able to calculate that, compute that in your calculator and you'll be able to get 339,811 and 20 cents. So that is a amount of money that was paid to the bank. Uh, part C expresses a percentage of higher purchase, the difference between, uh, between the amount 
repaid to the bank and the higher purchase price. Uh, so this is the amount that was paid. The higher purchase was 276,000. Uh, uh, so let's start with the, the amount that the, the customer paid to the bank. So it is 339,000. 811 and 20 cents you minus 276 uh, thousand that is the amount that was to be paid in uh in, uh, there is a higher purchase when you compute when you subtract that you should be able to get 68,811 and 20 cents so we are supposed to make uh, to compute this as a percentage of the higher purchase so what you do you d you say six eight 68,811 and 20 cents you divide by the higher purchase which is 276,000 uh, and you multiply by 100 so that will give you uh, the, the percentage uh, of the higher purchase the difference between the amount you pay to the bank you compute that you should be able to get 23.12 percent and that is how you work out that so with that uh, then here you should be able to get uh, one mark one mark there and one mark there two marks here you get a mark and you get a mark there those are four marks here you get three marks so you should be get a, a mark for that a mark for that and mark for the answer and then here you get three marks then you should be able to get a mark there a mark there and a mark for the answer and that will total up to to 10. so i hope this is what you covered in uh, form 3 commercial arithmetics uh, so you should this formula is very important the formula for computing the amount accrued when we are being charged compound in uh, compound interest so that's how you do that and I hope you have followed that.